How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope you guys are doing well. As you can see, I did not end up getting the Mastertronic Essential uh, or the Hydros Maven. I ended up getting an AquaWiz uh, KH controller. So uh, the reason I ended up going this direction is, one, I was really enticed by, as you can see, no reagent needed. That's a pretty big deal, not having to constantly shell out periodic cash for reagents. But also, uh, as I've been manually testing lately since taking the Trident off my tank, I've realized that calcium and L calcium and magnesium really, uh, they don't change that much week to week. And in fact, I've even reduced testing those to just doing those tests with Salifert test kits once on the weekend. The thing that does see a little more fluctuation is, is alkalinity. So uh, I ended up deciding I really only need uh, an alkalinity tester. And really, I only need it for when I am away from home. My little HANA checker while I'm here is more than enough. But I do have travel coming up over the summer. And I was like, well, I, I should get something. So uh, this came highly recommended from Andrew Bauma. Uh, I know Greg Carroll likes this uh, AquaWiz unit. Um, and a whole bunch of people seem to be starting to get their hands on the AquaWiz and reviews are generally quite good. So I'm gonna unbox it here and just show you what you get in the box. And then I'm gonna put it on my tank, hopefully today, if I can carve out time. And we're gonna see, uh, you know, over a, a couple days of testing how it does. So let me open this up. Might have to have a couple cuts in this video as I open it. Let's see here. Good padding, really, really thick padding in here. All right, instruction booklet. Looks pretty simple and self-explanatory. Cool. Here's the unit itself. Really actually quite small. You can see this is my hand. I mean, that's quite small. Look at this little guy. <laughs> this is, uh, I pulled it out of the box. I had to get the, the padding out from around it. It was really, really uh, well padded. Like there's no way this thing was going to get hurt on the way here. So I'm pretty impressed with that. But just take a look at this thing. I mean, it is, again, here's my hand. I mean, this thing is tiny. This is really cool. For an auto tester, I mean, the Trident is much bulkier than this. So I'm quite impressed. By the way, this yellow paint on the front. So I did see uh, some images of the AquaWiz out of the Asiatic region, or whatever you want, to, from Asia. And uh, it has a clear paint. And the, I have heard a rumor that they're going to change it to a blue paint with, like, you know, newer production runs. So this is, uh, the yellow is the original one that came to America. I don't mind the yellow. Apparently they got... You know, some people saying that they didn't like the yellow, but I think it looks pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and flip it around here. So here's the back of the unit. I'm covering up the password on here because I don't yet know if I can change my password or if it just is what it is. So, you know, in <laughs> just in case I don't want anybody logging into my account. I have no idea. Uh, but as you can see, the back is very simple. You can see these little these little dosing heads in here. And then you've got uh, a PowerPoint there. Uh, you have a K, KH to pH, um, you know, uh, point where, as I understand it, you can use at least the Neptune Apex, possibly other controllers, to plug into this and get a reading that shows up. So it'll, it'll give you a alkalinity reading that shows up as a pH, um, you know, reading, which is kind of interesting. I'm sure I'll have a video on that. Then you've got uh, your pH probe uh, point right there on the very end, uh, where you plug in the pH probe that actually drops down into the unit. It can control dosing, so uh, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's optional. I don't think I'm gonna have it control my dosing, but if you wanted it to, it would. And then this little barb right here uh, is where the tank water gets pumped into the actual reservoir. So again, very, very simple, and I really appreciate that. I, I, I've kind of come to appreciate simple after struggling uh, with the Trident here over the last year. All right, let's take a closer look at what what comes inside of it because clearly there are 
you know, things that are in wrapping inside of it that need to come out. Um, just looking at the, at the top here, so you've got a little display screen, and it is backlit. I've seen videos of it. Then you have a couple navigation buttons and just like a select button. So very simple there. And let's go ahead and get this little, there's a little plastic screw. Let's take that out. My understanding is this needs to be screwed in tight so the lid is on there tight so that uh, samples do not get contaminated with dust or what have you. So let's open the top. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so in the very top, there's your power plug, which is really low profile, small. If you ever use an old cell phone, you'll know. Uh, this plate is usually taped in there. That was just kind of set on there. You can see the points that are carved out for the dosing lines to go through. This is good, high quality um, machining, by the way. I mean, this is very, there's, there's no like weird little parts on it. It's all very, very, very solid, very smooth. Here's a look down inside. Kind of interesting. So I have to figure all this out. Um, I see float valve over here. I see, uh, um, you know, two kind of like tubes inside of it. And I know that there's air stones in these and then the pH probe goes down in one. So I gotta, I gotta really play with this today and figure out you know, what, how exactly it's doing what it does. Here's the pH probe. So it comes with a nice pH probe. Let's see what else is down in here. Let's see. Okay. Dosing line. Pretty good dosing line, actually. Nice and thick. It feels pliable, but tough. This is uh, when I order dosing line on Amazon. I always hope it's kind of if you, it feels like this kind of dosing line. This is hard to kink, very hard to kink, and that's it. So, and honestly, again, like I'm happy with that, and I'm happy with that because it's simple, <laughs> and I have come to value simple. I'm looking for simple. So, yeah, there's all the supplies. I gotta put that plate back in there, I guess. But guys, initial reaction. I mean, again, I'll just put my hand up on it. This is incredibly small. This is simple. It's small. It's well constructed. It comes with the complete package of stuff that you need. There is no reagent required for it. Not bad. It really is not bad. Uh, my understanding, I got this at Collector Corals, I think is, is the website. Them, um, so Collector Corals and I think Kung Fu are the one, the, the shops that are selling these so far in America. Uh, it's $780, which like, I know people are going to like run from the video right now. When I say that I, my argument on the price is, look, I understand it tests one thing for $780, but you're never going to need reagent, right? Even if you used ABC reagents with a Neptune Trident, it's 70 bucks every six months, right? So like this thing over the course of a couple of years starts to really pay for itself. Um, and my understanding is there's more testing flexibility with this. We'll see if that's true once I get into it. But um, yeah, for $780, always know what my alkalinity is. Uh, that's to me, given that there is no need for reagents, I'm like, okay with that. I, I weighed it out and I was like, you know what? I'm all right with that. So, um, price did jump apparently due to tariff action. So I don't know. Um, my, if you're thinking about getting one of these, I'm going to try to get these videos out quick so you can make a decision. But I would, if you've really been considering it, I'd probably get it, uh, and not just wait because the tariff action is not good uh, and it's going to get worse from here. So I'll get into it, guys. Uh, I assure you I will be tinkering with this thing all day and then I will have some videos out in the future. Uh, I'll cover this in a nice little series and show you guys what it's all about. Thanks. Have a good one.